Happening now, former President Donald Trump is in New York ahead of a scheduled court appearance tomorrow. The criminal indictment against him set to make history. And joining us live on First at Four with the very latest on this is our White House correspondent, John Decker. And John, despite how closely this case is being watched, we still don't know yet for sure what these charges are. When do we expect to get a clear picture? We expect that tomorrow, Roseanne. You know, uh, it's been last since last Thursday that this indictment uh, was sealed, and it will be unsealed during the arraignment of former President Trump. That will happen tomorrow afternoon, 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Then we'll get a better sense uh, in terms of what evidence was brought before this grand jury and what charges were ultimately voted on by this grand jury that led them to believe with probable cause that former President Trump is guilty of these crimes. What's security like around the Manhattan courthouse, and do you expect the arraignment to be televised? There is tremendous security. Since last Thursday, security has only increased around the courthouse in lower Manhattan. Uh, several s streets that surround the courthouse have already been closed down. We expect more road closures to take place tomorrow ahead of the arraignment. As far as whether or not this will be televised, I would not count on that. Uh, there are a number of prominent news organizations that have petitioned the court to have this open to perhaps a pool camera. Uh, that being said, uh, the prosecutor in this case, the Manhattan DA, they say that they are deferring to the judge. Uh, his decision on this, Judge Juan Marchand. Uh, and as far as the former president's attorneys are concerned, they are opposed to this idea of having cameras uh, or a camera in the courtroom to uh, send out video of what's happening in the courtroom, this arraignment. They say it would create a circus. And what I think is likely to happen is that the judge will defer to the defendant, in this case, former President Donald Trump. So we could see, for instance, uh, a sketch artist uh, in the courtroom to provide some idea about what things look like during the course of this arraignment, uh, but I would not expect to see video of the former president himself uh, as he uh, announces his not guilty plea to this uh, Supreme Court judge in New York. Now, Trump has been very critical of the judge who will preside over his case. Do we expect that criticism to continue after the arraignment and any chance that the judge will impose a gag order on former president? If there were to be a gag order, it's a big if. I don't think it will happen initially. But if there were to be a gag order, it would simply prevent the former president from discussing this case in public at a campaign rally, for instance, or during the course of an interview that he's doing on television. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, aside from that uh, first day uh, in the wake of this indictment being announced by the Manhattan District Attorney, uh, the former president has not really criticized the Manhattan DA uh, publicly in terms of social media posts. Uh, that's Alvin Bragg or the judge in this case, Judge Juan Marchand. Uh, and I think that's on the instructions of his attorney. So uh, my guess is there will not be a gag order imposed upon the former president. If there were to be a gag order imposed, by the way, it would apply to both the prosecutor and the defendant, Donald Trump. When will we hear from Donald Trump tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are likely to see and hear from the former president for the first time after the arraignment, but not in New York, not in Manhattan. Instead, uh, after the arraignment, uh, the former president will be released on his own recognizance without bail. He won't be handcuffed during the course of any of this process. He'll fly out of New York, back down to his home in Florida, and it's likely to be tomorrow night, 8.15 Eastern time, uh, in which we will likely uh, get a statement from the former president. Maybe even uh, he'll take some questions from the media that is right down there at Mar-a-Lago in South Florida. But that is the plan as things stand uh, today uh, as far as the former president is concerned and addressing uh, the events that will take place tomorrow, the unprecedented events that are taking place tomorrow with the arraignment of a former president. Our White House correspondent, John Decker, thank you so much for this update. And I know you will continue to watch this closely.